Well, here I am guys. If you're wondering why I haven't been uploading daily recently is because I was in California for a week and uh, oh, if you cannot already tell my face is a little burnt right now but I mean of course it's been a few days ever since it first happened um, right now it's just like dry skin and it's peeling and it's still a little irritated so it might be a little red still but um, that's not the worst of how bad it was I tried to vlog as much as I could unfortunately I only brought my 16 gigabyte SD card with my uh, GoPro, my GoPro Hero 4. So it ran out really fast and I couldn't continue vlogging because, you know, I ran out of space. And the main cause of that is because I got a lot of footage on the beach and uh, so much footage on the beach that I could not even film anymore. I mean, we went to Legoland, we went to Disneyland. Um, we drove all over the place in California. It really made my summer. It was it was it was a good uh, it was a good vacation. I mean, I went with my friend Jonas Maya and his girlfriend Leah. Let me go in more details of how this happened and how I got burned in general. Um, first day when we got to California, we were like, "Oh man, it's hot!" Because Jonas doesn't have AC in his car. Yeah, and you guys might be, oh, you're crazy driving through the desert, through Arizona desert to get to California with no AC. Well, yeah, we did it. Do you guys know how we did it? Well, this is how we did it. We left at 4 in the morning, 4 in the morning, because the sun's not out, so it's not going to be as hot. Um, so, we left at 4 in the morning, um, and of course, we left from this little town called Flagstaff in Arizona, and... Uh, it was going well, going well. Four in the morning. Jonas was the first driver. Um, I got a little bit of sleep, and uh, Leah in the back was sleeping as well. And uh, I woke up like around, uh, I think it was like around seven o'clock because the sun was out. We got to California. Um, we got to Jonas's aunt's house. Pretty cool place. Um, they live really close to the beach, really close in Carlsbad. And uh, we. Uh, Drove to the beach, and I feel like if we were to do it all over again, we would walk to the beach. I mean, it wasn't that far of a walk. It's probably like 10 blocks. Maybe a little bit longer than that, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close to live 10 blocks away from the beach, in my opinion. But uh, we got to the beach. We drove there. Of course, in California, you had to pay for everything. It was 6 bucks for 2 hours to park. And, of course, it took like 30 minutes to find a parking spot. And I swear, the people that were, uh, you know, getting back to their car from the beach were taking their sweet time. They're taking as long as they could. And I swear, they take even longer when they see you. Like, they do it in purpose, like it's a game. But I don't know. They could have just been not realizing that we were there waiting uh, with their blinker on, waiting for about 30 minutes. But uh, I don't know. It was pretty cool. We went to the beach. Um, my ratings on that beach, uh, they're pretty low. I think I... I I give it like a 4 out of 10 on that um, main beach in Carlsbad just because there are a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks and no joke, uh, I got pelted like four times in the legs. And uh, that day I was wearing my hat and not this hat but the America hat. <sighs> and uh, I'll talk more about that later but uh, I was wearing a hat, I, was, I, had, I had my sunscreen on, um, I actually was wearing some higher SPF sunscreen that day though because I remember I didn't want to get burnt at all the day after we got to California on Monday we got free tickets to Legoland and uh, I know that might be hard to believe but um, we have connections we have connect I know a lot of people and uh, we somehow went to Legoland I mean it's more for like little kids it was kind of cool though I mean it's better than doing nothing during the day. Checked it out. Went pretty well. We got kind of tired of it. We kind of left like around 2 o'clock I believe. Um, the roller coasters were in my opinion kind of lame. But the little town made out of Legos and the little world I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, great place um, even though the rides were not that very good. 
Um, great place. I like the aquarium. Very cool. Third day, we went to Disneyland. Great experience. My favorite ride will always be the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. I mean, come on. I don't know what it is about that ride, but it has always been my favorite ride. I love Space Mountain too. Not as much as Pirates of the Caribbean, but uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Space Mountain when all the lights are on. I mean, if you see how tightly it's built inside that room, you would probably not want to go on the ride again. I mean, it's crazy. The food at Disneyland is extremely expensive, and I mean extremely expensive. I'm very wild that the price has went up that much. I mean, inflation. Inflation is incredible. It's crazy. Like, believe it or not, like, during the fireworks show, when Walt Disney's speech went on, um, I teared up a little bit. I mean, it, Walt Disney is someone I really look up to. I mean, he's not here with us anymore, but his legend still lives on, so. This video is the you Walt Disney up above. We all miss you. Alright, so the next day after that, we went to the beach again. And this is where stuff gets bad. We went to, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of the Thousand Step Beach, but we went to the Thousand Step Beach in, there in California, and uh, it's a very beautiful place. It took a while to get down there, but this beach was definitely a lot better than the last beach we went previous days. I really recommend it if you guys are going to California. Continuing the story, I got up really early compared to Leah and Jonas. Around 10.45-ish um, in the morning and they got there like around 11 or 12, like lunchtime around there. So I was there a lot longer than them. And I had sunscreen on, I put 15 SPF on. And 15 SPF is not really good when you're out there for so long. Um, I didn't feel like I was getting burned the whole time. I felt like I was fine. I mean, I was looking at my skin and it, was, it wasn't turning red or anything. Um, of course, what sucked is that the day before, I didn't tell you guys this, but that same like uh, America had I had, that's like the fisherman's hat. Um, I lost that the previous day when I was in the other ocean. I forgot to include that, but uh, yeah, I lost that the previous day because I got swept up by a wave and pretty much garage sailed right on the sand and uh, my hat got swept under and taken in by the waves. So I lost my hat and I thought I could, you know, find it, but the waves were pretty big that day. So I couldn't find the hat. So I didn't have a hat that day. So I was going without no hat, and I have pretty fair skin, so if I am out there for too long with no hat on, which I should have known better, but I was just having such a fun time. I mean, the beach was beautiful. So, I was out there, um, well, I was out there since 10, and we didn't leave until around 4 o'clock. So I was there for 6 hours. They were there for about 4 hours. They got there around 12, and... We left at 4, so they were only there for 4 hours. I was there since freaking 10 o'clock in the morning, but at the last hour that we were there, like around 3 o'clock, I was like, oh, something's not right, and I was feeling sick to my stomach, and uh, believe it or not, I actually got sun poisoning, um, and I know this because Jonas's mom told me later on what it was, and um, how you could actually die from sun poisoning. Jonas's older brother brought like a little umbrella and I sat under the umbrella because I was feeling sick and they were still out, out in the beach so I, I fell asleep under the umbrella um, and so I was fine under the umbrella but I still had all that sun before um, but I just remember waking up after that still feeling sick so I left without them this left, I got up everything, brought my stuff, I got my wallet and my phone. I got my shirt that I was wearing that day, and I wrapped it around my head because I felt like my skin was burnt at the time. And I knew something was wrong, so I did that, and it was wet and damp, so it felt pretty good. Um, so I got my face out of the sun for a little while. What I didn't realize is that I left my shoes in their bag. So I was walking barefoot, and I was already like, already at the steps 
from the beach. I didn't want to walk all the way back because I was just like, oh, dude, I'm so tired and done. I just want to get inside. At that time, I knew something was wrong, and I looked down at my arms, and they were getting kind of pinkish. When I was walking up the steps, 1,000 steps, it's not really it's not really 1,000 steps. It's probably more around 200, 300 steps. Leg killer, by the way. The first time I walked up it, dude, I swear I almost passed out, but great workout. It wasn't that big of a deal uh, the second time I walked up it, but uh, walking, I had to walk all the way across, and it was it's, it's like about a three-block walk back to the house. Barefoot, walking on the concrete, burning concrete. I'm telling you, like, it was really hot that day. The sun was very intense that day compared to the other days we were there. The sun was very intense, and uh, my feet started to burn, like, really bad, and the asphalt was, like, really hot as well but the last block of walking like stepping on the the asphalt was like stepping on lava pretty much to me it hurt so bad anyways I got inside and I passed out on the, on the bed and I woke up three hours after they were all back and they're like dude why were you asleep for so long and I was like I don't know dude I'm feeling sick something's not right and they're like have you been drinking water and I was like not much I should probably drink a lot of water so I started drinking water then my sunburns appeared and were like, dude, you're red as a cherry. My feet were burned. I mean, I can't show you in camera right now, but my feet don't look as bad anymore, but they're still a little burned, but they don't hurt anymore. Um, my face was burned. Some of my belly was burned because I wasn't wearing a shirt for part of the time of that day, but uh, pretty much I was, I was burned. I mean, it wasn't the worst I've ever been burned before, but I was sunburned and it did not feel good. So, we all went to the store and bought aloe vera. Um, even Jonas got burned that day. And he's not really someone that really gets sunburned. I mean, I'm usually the guy that always gets sunburned because I have a little bit of Irish in me. And uh, when you have white skin and you're out in the sun all day, it does not go well. Anyways, the trip was fun. Of course, like what they always say, um, with a good trip, there's always going to be bad experiences along with the good experiences, but uh, overall, I just really wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I really wanted to tell you guys what's up and where I've been and what was happening. Um, I know there might be a little bit of confusion of what's going on. It's just, it is what it is, and I'm getting through this. My sunburn is pretty much all gone by now. Um, of course, I'm, my skin's peeling. Like, that's what it's supposed to do. I mean, at least, I hope, but... Um, it was a good trip and great memories. One day I'll look back at this experience and laugh at it. And I'm glad that I got this on camera of me talking about it because <laughs> regular uploads will return soon. Um, college is about to start, so my upload schedule might change a little bit. It might end up being weekly. Um, I'm really trying to focus on school and, uh, get those good grades, so... Weekly uploads will most likely be the new thing. Um, one video per week, most likely. Um, I might end up making it two per week, but we just gotta see how busy I am. Um, I know during the summer, I've been pretty good at keeping it daily, but I just gotta really focus on school, you know? So, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment below, and subscribe for future content. I love all you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you watched this video all the way through to this point, thank you so much. Um, you were awesome.